in this video, we're going to compare two image to video AI video generators that you may not be familiar with. One is Vidu, which we have done comparisons with in the past, and they have their newer 2.0 version. But there's also one that you totally just may never have seen before, and that's LTX, and they have their new 9.5 release which is just out within the last say week or so so let's compare the two because actually video is really good but i'm not sure about ltx so let's compare and see if we have two kind of silent quality image video generators that you could be using right now if you want all of the bells and whistles you can go to vidu.com for video, or, or you can go to ltx.studio to play with their video generation models. But for this experiment, we're going to head on over to fall.ai to show you what these models can do. As many of you know, I like to head on over to Midjourney and tap on this community to find some images. And hey, that looks interesting. We're going to test a few variations, some with action, some with people, and see how each one of these platforms performs. We're going to use the standard prompt bring to life for most of these, except for one that we haven't brought out in a while, Grokette. And let's see how Grokette does as we ask the image generators to have her fly away off the branch. We'll save that one for a couple rounds later. So bring to life is our prompt. And here are some of the images that I pulled up. Let's start with this one and run. Here we are with video and wow, nice movement of the camera. And Oh, wow, that's really cool. I'd love to see that extended. But that was a nice interpretation of what that image is about. Uh, I thought that was really pretty cool. Um, let's take a look and see what LTX did. And LTX, mm, LT, I'm not sure what LTX did. Uh, went to an environment, I, I, I don't know. Bring to life it was the request. Well, maybe LTX is not not as strong as we thought it might be. Uh, let's uh, check out another another image this time we have a young lady with uh, dandelions floating above her head and we'll stick with bring to life and let's see what happens let's see if LTX can actually handle this prompt a little bit better well here's video and yeah look at the fun that uh, video is created it sticks with the theme um, adds some more dandelion puffs into the air and uh, yeah it's a fun nice little image let's see what happens with LTX and LTX is doing some sort of transformation and maybe that is what it's designed to do um, that is really I mean I have no idea maybe the bring to life is just a bad prompt for LTX, we should probably take a look and see why this is happening. So there is an older version of LTX and I tried this and there's not much movement. So I have a feeling we are not going to win in this scenario. I thought that perhaps what we were doing with LTX with the other version, the 9.5, was possibly a situation where we needed to add multiple images. And because it is kind of a storytelling system, but it will not, this will not allow me to add multiple images here. So let's do one more. Let's see what, let's see what video can do with Grok X, with Grokette. But here we go. The astronaut gets up and walks away. Um, so this is what you're supposed to do here. Um, Maybe we just need to have a longer prompt, kind of like with Grokette, where we say Grokette flies away off of the branch. Let's see what happens. So we'll use the same prompt for both. And, 
yes, we're going to assume that the AI can figure out who Grok at is. That is a, a kind of a test of that we like to use. And let's try it. And we'll try both of the LTX versions. Here we go with Vidyu, and she adds some wings there, but this is a nice take off and fly away. So uh, I like it. Vidyu did a good job with this. Um, I'm pretty happy. Grokket continues her journey. Let's see what we get with LTX. Here's the older version, and wow, that that's kind of messed up. If you <laughs> wow, there, it seems like there's just continuous transformation. Like everything is supposed to be transformed into something else. Maybe over at the LTX website, you have the options that will make this work better. But in this interface here at uh, Fall.ai, we're just not getting anything, uh, any options to help us transform one into the other, like multiple frames. Uh, so that may be the issue. It does say here, hint, you can drag and drop files here and provide a base 64 encode data, so forth. Um, well, if we try to drop the files, as it says, nothing happens. So, all right, let's check the other version. This is the newer version. And again, it's transfor transforming. I, I just, I don't get it. It obviously needs a little more research. Let me come back to you with some of that. And um, let's do one more. I really want to see what Vidyu does with the snowboarder. So here's a snowboarder that I really just wanted to see what happens when we bring them to life. And I'm gonna extend my research on LTX. I thought I knew about this platform with my initial research, but I may be wrong. Okay, I'm over at LTX and it's app.ltx.studio. And let's see what we can figure out here. Generate motion with LTX. Okay. Start, upload image. Let's use one we had before. Let's use this one with the girl. Bring to life. So we got four different versions. certainly better than what was being created before it's let's try another one here's our snowboarder to bring to life and we'll also test out grokket but this way we can compare apples to apples with the snowboarder this is what we got with vidyu interesting nice a little bit of morphing over there that wasn't that's not great over here but uh, there's some nice movement up until about the end. So I'm going to assume that uh, LTX isn't going to do as well. This is a tough one. Here we go, LTX. Huh. No, you see the face there? Yeah, look at the face. That morphing, yeah, not so good. Nope, can see it there too. Let's just see what happens with Grokket. Here we are with Grokket and some variations. Uh, this one almost works, but not quite. So, so obviously I didn't give LTX a fair shake over at fall.ai where it is where we have the opportunity to use the different models. It seems to work a little bit better um, here at LTX Studio. So lesson learned that sometimes these comparisons may work a little bit better at their studios. And of course, in their studio or website setting, they often have many of the 
uh, uh, additional tools that can help support the process, such as additional video links and so forth. Um, I, I think that is fair to say, um, even being able to create different seeds or, or add different seeds and the different you know, camera controls and so forth. You know, those kinds of things are, are worth noting in this process. But compared to VidU, which I really feel holds up well to, say, Kling, as well as Luma Labs and the other really good um, image-to-video generators, but this one is not it. But you have to compare them. You have to test them out. This is how you learn. And as you can tell, sometimes... I'm learning when I'm not as familiar with some of these platforms along the way. And you can learn from my mistakes and you can learn from what I'm doing in this process. Because believe me, these videos that you see online, people had to take time to test and try new things. It's not always as polished as you might think. And that's why I like to show some of the errors that I make along the way. I think it makes for a more realistic process in understanding of what you need to do. And maybe sometimes it takes a little more investigation, a little more testing. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So I can give you the best results and insight to help you create wonderful imagery, whether it's still imagery, video imagery, or maybe a short movie, or social media ads, or social media content. There are a lot of ways in which we can use this content, these new AI generation tools. It's going to help us tell our stories in new ways. Hey, if you want to hear more about AI for the creative, don't miss our podcast every Monday where we are two creative guys talking AI.